Hello! Right, first decent day we had for all bloody week. Uh, so we're going to get on with this seal here. This is on the roof of the LT and someone's had a go at sealing it with something bitumen or something. That hasn't worked because it's leaking and there's two little pin pricks here which keep dripping so most of this roof I think we are going to have a go at and just give it a repaint because there's a few bits that a bit suspicious so and have a good look while we can so weapon of choice today and I've got some sicker sicker flex to put in here to um, seal up afterwards so we we'll should get this all right so here's a top tip probably not a good idea to paint bitumens over rusty metal What's happened is, because the rust is underneath, it's bubbled up the bit underneath the bitumen. The bitumen's gone over this and it's just holding water under the bitumen. So what we've done is, we've scraped all this out. Gone over it with the grinder. And they're going to treat these, treat the rust with some Genolite and we'll seal up and then repaint and i think what we'll probably do is double check all the seals on the van them two don't look too bad but i think for the sake of an hour's work we'll probably just get over this whole roof and give this a coat and then we know it's definitely sealed um, there's a couple of uh, bigger holes in that end so we're gonna have to fill them before we paint by the looks of this i think there's something attached it's obviously been leaking for a while because you can see the rust on the inside here as well but there's these little holes all the way along here in a in a line so there must have been something attached to there or something but we're gonna have to um, fill all those before we just put the sealant in and I'll have to check all, all the rest throughout the reef, I think. This is what we're using to fill the holes. It's a Bellozona plastic metal. This is industrial stuff, which is the best you can get, basically. Um, it's an epoxy and a sort of filler, so we'll mix that up now. I'm going to use this, which is like a Genolite um, rust killer to do any of the rusty metal before we apply the paint. So, ideal to do these on a hot sunny day because obviously you can see the see where the sun's coming through. So, um, I'll get these filled up. I always try and fill from the inside out because you got a, a better when you're up on the roof, it's really hard to see. So, we'll get these all filled up now let that go off and can have a rub down and then a seal and a paint so that's that done no more sunlight now it seems like a silly thing but we're going to check all the seams now and we're going to get all this this um foam out of here before we re-insulate and i'm just going to check all the seams and just make sure there's no other little pin pricks it seems a bit trivial but if we're now going to spend quite a lot of money and time fitting this out and getting that good you don't want water ingress coming in you're going to end up with all sorts of problems so we're going to make sure that another one now that, that all these little holes are um sorted out and that way we can fairly much guarantee it's going to be watertight and for the sake of an hour or two's work and putting some paint on etc etc we might as well do it yeah i don't i'm not confident about this seal here either so there's a bit a little bit of air going through so i think we're just rust treatment all those rub them down general item undercoat top coat whole roof and then it's done so we've uh, took out all any of the loose filler 
resealed. That's been generalited or rust treatment on the bare patches on the bare rust. And we've now put some pylon primer on, my famous pylon primer. Roof's been cleaned off and Jack's now going to give it a coat of the silver. So that'll have a coat of uh, silver metal oxide paint over the top. So, like I said before, there's no point really doing a major expensive nice fit out when you've still got water coming through the roof. So we've cured that now, sorted out all the little pin pricks and um, yeah, ready for paint. So there we go, roof painted, sealed. We've got quite a lot of, sorry it's late in the day so the sun's shining on here so you can't see it brilliantly. But it's all been sealed up, resealed, repainted, ready for the solar panels to go on and ready for the fit out. Like I say, uh, we're doing a good fit out on this and there's going to be money being spent so it doesn't make sense to leave holes in the roof and leaking. And I think all, all motorhome people really should bear that in mind that not many people get up on the roofs and have a look and make sure and that the water ingress is what ruined the last van that we had up here and cost a man a lot of time and money so this is all done now um, we had a full day on this and we'll get on with the rest of it thanks for watching take care and we'll catch you on the next video